Wow, August and Labor Day weekend, big moments for moms and parents taking their kids to college. Been there so hard, hard to let them go. I had a scholar athletes, so they had to go back at the middle of August and then go from one dorm to their regular dorm after preseason. So just, and then Labor Day weekend, one um, dorm person came, dorm mate came and with her family, they took my daughter out for dinner because after one went, I could only be the only one to take them from West Coast to East Coast, you know, money, cost money to fly. So it's going to be hard. You're going to cry. Let your tears out. I remember letting my tears out, driving back and forth to work, um, at home, seeing their room, but then start to embrace all that. I have a book called Becoming an Empty Nester, and it has 50 great chapters, short reads, to help you, give you some ideas of what to do, how can I get out of the funk. So the first uh, part is like letting go. Lots about how to let go and doing it on your own time. The second one is like recalling your favorites. Start a list, start doing some of them, just plan them. Um, Part three is getting started on your new life, Um, like decluttering your nest rearranging your nest. Working on you is part four. That's what I've been working on this year, this summer, getting my medical numbers, getting things done that we need, ladies, you know, um, and taking care of me and not finding a diet, but finding nutrition to eat to keep me healthy. And then part five is enjoying the ride. Moms, we did all of this. We made it happen dads did too. But we need to enjoy it. And there's really great chapters there on helping you like send out your own love and light and get out of your ruts and find your flow, find your passion and your purpose. And mine came to me. God said once to me, you need to start helping moms and parents. So I wrote Parenting Scholar Athletes. And then I wrote this book, Becoming an Empty Nester. So I hope they help. I hope you're doing fine. Let the tears out, but start to bring joy into your life. Have a good one.